Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be on the big trade that happened today in the MLB that sent Isaiah Connor for Lifa and also pitcher Ronnie Harin- uh, Henriquez, excuse me, to the Minnesota Twins in order for the Texas Rangers to get a catcher the position they really needed still on that team position player wise back in Mitch Garver. Because if you really looked at the Texas Rangers, when it came to Connor for life, he kind of became an odd man out because they didn't love him behind the dish at the catching position. That's why they ended up moving him to the infield. And now at the infield, you got Corey Seager and you got Marcus Simeon. So uh, at that point, unless if he was playing third base, he kind of became an odd man out. A guy that I also still like for Texas that I think can put it together has it has always had a very good swing. Uh, just has to be more locked in contact wise. I still think Nate Low can st- Nate Low, excuse me, can still be a good player. And they got Abanez there and others, Yanni Hernandez. They got other guys, <clears throat> Ezekiel Duran, if he makes the team. So there's other cats plus prospects, other prospects as well that I've, I've not mentioned for the Rangers that have kind of made kind of play for that man out. So he was the perfect guy to trade. They give up a pretty interesting pitcher in Ronnie Henriquez. It was Henriquez, excuse me, is only pitched this far uh, in low A ball, uh, but he's a very good controller of the strike zone. And for being as young as he is at the age of 21, for having being as zoned in in the strike zone as Ronnie Henriquez is, that's kind of a rarity in today's game where now they kind of just teach the kids to kind of just gun it and throw it and be the fastest, the most spin rate, all that yada yada, where they don't always have the best control young in their career. Well, Henriquez does, so he's smartly a guy that uh, they're going to uh, bring in in the Minnesota Twins organization as they're trying to build up that team. And then Isaiah Connor Falifa, we'll see what the Twins end up using him as if they think they can put him behind the plate and get him gelling back there to be their catcher, or if he's going to be their shortstop, second baseman, third baseman, what, what, well, they probably don't need him at third, but what they decide to do with him and where they're going to put him in the Minnesota Twins organization. All in all, though, this is just a very smart move for both ends because the Texas Rangers, the one thing they, uh, they need to add more stuff as well, but the one thing they really were missing that was glaring where Trevino was set to be the starter, who's a good fielding catcher, but Mitch Garver can do it more at the bat, was kind of their catching position and the production they would get from there. They get that now with Mitch Garver. And the Minnesota Twins, as they're retooling at least, if they don't want to use the rebuilding word, get two good players for that. And Henriquez, who's a good young pitcher that, uh, unlike most, does control the strike zone really well. And also Isaiah Conifalifa, who's a very versatile player, who's fast and can play multiple positions for a rebuilding team. And a guy that played well for the Rangers just kind of became an on-man out once they brought in Seager and Marcus Simeon. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please continue to enjoy your day. The season is almost here. April 7th is opening day. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy your day.